Welcome back to Forensic Bites. You may have recently heard of xylazine, the zombie drug. Xylazine, also known as Trank Dope, has been getting a lot of airtime lately. It's an approved sedative, analgesic, or general anaesthetic used for large animals, particularly horses, in veterinary medicine. Forensically, it's becoming of interest for drug impaired driving, medical legal death investigations, and drug facilitated crimes. Mainly, it's being encountered as an adulterant in seized samples of cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl, with the most prominent reports appearing in America and Puerto Rico. Looking at the diagram on the right, we can see its appearance across the United States, where each black mark state indicates the reporting of at least one detection of xylazine in a drug sample. As you can see, in 2019 there were first reports, and this then spread outwards throughout the majority of the United States by 2021. And it's worth noting that in the 2021 diagram, all but one of the states shown as white didn't have a reporting measure for the study being done. So it's quite likely that it's more widespread than the diagram gives credit for. Looking at the coloured diagram, that shows the distribution of horses in America. So comparing the initial breakout in 2019 to the distribution of where you would find horses in America, you can see some overlap in this area. And similarly, Puerto Rico has some of the best horses in the world. So the emergence of Trank Dope has been correlated with locations where this sedative was being used on horses. In terms of xylazine's effects, it's a potent tranquilizer. The reason it's being cut with these other drugs is to enhance its perceived potency, particularly for opioids like heroin. Basically, it mimics the strong initial rush you would feel from a very pure drug sample. Some unintended effects are that it contracts smooth muscle, leading to vasoconstriction, meaning it narrows blood vessels. Another is that it suppresses painful stimuli like hot cold, trauma, etc. So essentially, xylazine acts as a mask. It can mask low-quality or low-purity drug samples, but it also masks the body's own warnings about injurious behaviour like pain or illness. This allows takers to push past their limits in terms of what they would typically be able to take. Add to that the restriction to blood flow caused by vasoconstriction, and this can give rise to fairly grisly wounds, since blood flow restriction can lead to outcomes like gangrene, particularly when combined with something like fentanyl, which can also give rise to skin conditions. Add the final component of a zombie-like gait that comes from extremely heavy sedation, and this is where the zombie drug moniker comes from. So xylazine is more dangerous than most cutting agents. Unlike most cutting agents, it has potential for abuse all of its own. So usually drugs will be cut with something benign like caffeine or sugar or aspirin. Whereas xylazine is a drug of abuse all of its own. The effects it gives are dose dependent. And this means that if you have a weak batch of drugs, and you cut with more xylazine, the stronger the sedative effect you're going to impart. Furthermore, it can shallow breathing, similar to an opioid, but it can't be offset by naloxone. So an overdose on xylazine can't be readily halted. And for these reasons, it amplifies the potential harm dealt by other drugs that it's cut with. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening.